Go. Okay, this video is how to measure the knee with your goniometer. So knee flexion and extension occur in the sagittal plane. The end feel for knee extension is firm and for knee flexion is soft. And the normal value is from zero degrees to 150 degrees. So for this, the patient's gonna be supine. And similar to the elbow, we need to, she could have hyperextension of the knee, but we're never gonna know it in this position because the bed limits that. So we're gonna prop up her ankle and foot on a little towel roll. And this one's not high enough. Let me put this, like we might need. Yeah. Suzanne, can you grab another towel? So it needs to be high enough where the bed is not limiting her <coughs> range of motion. Okay, lift your leg up for me again. All right. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, so we've got enough towel rolls now underneath her um, foot and ankle here. Our goniometer is going to line up. Our fulcrum is going to line up with the lateral epicondyle of the femur. The stationary arm is going to line up with the greater trochanter of her femur. And the moving arm is going to line up with the lateral, uh, sorry, lateral malleolus of her fibula. And so we would say, okay, I want you to push your knee down into the bed. And so she's got zero degrees. I don't see any hyperextension here at her knee. And then I'm going to remove the toweling from underneath her ankle and foot. And the instructions are going to be, can you slide the heel of your foot along the bed up towards your bottom as far as you can go? And um, everything is lined up the same way. So lateral epicondyle of the femur is where your fulcrum goes. Greater trochanter of the femur is where your stationary arm lines up with. And lateral malleolus of the fibula is where I move my moving arm. Now, technically, she started up here with full knee extended, right? And then she flexes down. And she's got 134 degrees of knee flexion. So to document Jessica's knee flexion, that would be knee flexion 0 to 134.